What's happening? What's happening, guys? It's TJ LSU Dad. Welcome to my top defensive lineman to watch in 2023. And I'm not going to waste no time. It's already been long enough, so let's just get to it. Number 10 on my list is Warren Brinson, or as I call him, Fire and Brimstone. I believe that this kid is going to make a huge difference. He is a senior this year, but his determination and technique, that's that's all you're going to see on the film. That's what makes him a reliable presence on the line. His discipline in maintaining his assignments greatly benefits Georgia's defensive strategy. Expect him to be a consistent performer against both the run and the pass. This kid is coming in at 6'4", 305 pounds. That's, that is why I say fire and brimstone because he's going to rain down nothing but pressure all year. Next up on my list, Tawal Malone. Oh, as I call him, Showtime Malone. This is one of those gifts that came from that portal, that transfer portal. This young man was gift wrapped from the Ohio State Buckeyes. This young man says he's 6'3", 320 pounds. Quickness and agility defies his size. His ability to collapse the pocket. Listen, guys, will make him a nightmare for quarterbacks this year. His, his football instincts, his high motor, he don't stop. This boy, he keeps going. I don't know how somebody that, that big can keep going like that, but he has he has perfected it. And like I said, hey, five, five solo tackles, right? One sack, sort of limited. Don't pay no attention to that. This is his year to show out. And he's going to be there for Ole Miss all year. Next up on the list. Going back to Josh. This young man here, Nazir Stackhouse. Or as I call him, Stack Sack. Right? He's gonna, he is going to get sacks all year this year. Why? Why do you feel that raw power and size? He's formidable. He's a presence. Right? He didn't have the year he wanted last year with sacks. His focus is going to be on sacks this year. But without a sack, he's disruptive. He's disruptive. He doesn't stop. Right, which is instrumental in controlling the line of scrimmage for Georgia. Expect him to excel in both pass rushing and non-stop pressure. Next up, going to Texas A&M for Shamar Turner, or as I like to call him, U-turn turn. You're gonna make a U-turn. You're gonna turn around if you run into him because he's six foot four, two hundred ninety pounds. He's coming. He's coming. Right, his combination of strength and agility is remarkable. His commitment to refining his technique every year. He's a junior, guys, but every year this young man has gotten better. He's an amazing student. His ability as a as to both rush the passer and plug running lanes will will be the determination for Texas AM this year. And I'm looking for him to have a dominant season, right? That's Shamar Turner, 6'3", 300 pounds. You're going to turn around. The U-turn. Next up on my list. Number six. Going to Mississippi State. Oh, my God. They know this. Oh, my God. This is Jaden Crumity. Or as I like to call him, I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. He's six foot five, 315 pounds. Six foot five, 315 pounds out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Explosive, off the snap, unparalleled. His knack for penetrating the offensive line will create chaos in the backfield. With his determination and strong work ethic, t- listen to me. This young man is supposed, he's supposed to be a standout for Mississippi State and an SEC state. He could have a legendary season, right? Stay, keep your eyes locked into Mississippi defensive line. This is one of a, a, a group of good ones, guys. Jaden Crumity, Mississippi State. Next up, next up. I'm going to Arkansas. That's right, the Hulk. I told you in 2019. I said, one thing you're going to start to notice about Arkansas, they're going to get bigger. And they proved that I am the football prophet. 
Give me Cameron Bow. Six foot five. 319 pounds. I call him Builder Bear. Because if you're going to put together a defensive tackle, this is how you put him together. Cameron brings a unique blend of size and agility to the field. His ability to disrupt offensive plays with quick bursts off the line will be a game changer for Arkansas this year. He's relentless. His relentless pursuit of the quarterback and solid tackling techniques makes him a force to be reckoned with. Keep your eye on Cameron Bowe all year, six foot five, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Went, in, went into Georgia, stole this kid, put him in a, in a basket, rolled him all the way from, from Atlanta to Arkansas. I got him in, six foot five, 319 pounds. Cameron Bowe, build a bear. He's number five. Next up, next up, I'm going to my. LSU Tigers. Give me Paris Shan, or as I call him, the last stand. He is the last stand. Six foot five, 280 pounds. We went all the way up there to a cold place to bring him down here. He's from Ontario, right? Hey guys, hey guys. Yeah, he's from Toronto. I'm sorry, he's from Toronto. But check it out. Hey. Paris, his relentless pursuit of the ball, his impressive strength is notable. His ability to disrupt plays in the backfield will make him a key component of LSU defense. His energy, his leadership on and off the field, this kid, I love him. I love him, right? And I stepped away from the team for a little while, so I missed his recruitment. So I actually had to catch up. I've been watching this young man all day long. Six foot five. He's coming in at 280. Hey, I want to see somebody stop him. He's a junior for us from Toronto. I want to see somebody stop him. I don't think it's possible. I got him as my number four defensive tackle to watch. Yep. Yep. Going back to Arkansas. <laughs> I'm going back to Arkansas for Anthony the Tank Booker. And I'm talking, I say you can bank on the tank. Bank on the tank. Six foot four, 351 pounds. He could be the biggest. He could, he's definitely the heaviest. He's definitely the heaviest. Defensive tackle playing this year on the line. Tank Booker, defensive force for Arkansas, right? Power. Absolute power on the grid now. He's imposing, it's imposing frame, disruptive energy. It's gonna make him a nightmare for opponents. Booker ability to dominate the line of scrimmage and shatter plays showcases his unyielding determination. Right, boy's gonna keep on coming after. You. It's like pulling a string on a lawnmower. He gonna run until you choke it out. He not gonna stop. He's the anchor of the Arkansas defense, leaving a trail of impact wherever he goes. Anthony Tank Booker's sheer power and disruptive force is evident on every play. Just watch, watch, go, hey, just go check out some of his games. You'll see why I have him at number three is his ability to clog running lanes, to clog it up. So I'm telling everybody, bank on the tank. He's going to be the reason why Arkansas is better this year. Six foot, six foot four, 350 pounds. This kid has 16 solo tackles. Two sacks. I said 16 solo tackles. Two sacks. I got him at number three. Number two. Going back to Mississippi State. <laughs> For Nathan Pickering. Or as I call him, Hurricane Katrina. Here comes the hurricane. He's coming. Ain't nothing you can do to stop him. He's not going to stop. He's six foot four, 305 pounds. Just from the property of inertia. Once that much that much mass gets moving, there isn't anything that's gonna stop this man, right? It's the linchpin of Mississippi State defensive line. He embodies versatility and skill with explosive agility and remarkable technique. He disrupt plays and he pressures quarterbacks. His ability to adapt to various schemes and situations showcases his football IQ. If he was on John Madden, 
his attributes will be 99, 99, 99, 99. All right, that's all I got to say about him. No, I can say something else. He's relentless. <laughs> his mama should have just named him relentless because he doesn't stop. I call him the I call him the, the Hurricane Katrina because there isn't anything that you can do when this boy is coming after your quarterback, but evacuate. There we go. Number one. The number one defensive tackle to watch in 2023. He's six foot six. He's coming out of my LSU Tigers. Six foot six, 300 pounds. I, hey, I think that's cheating, but who cares? <laughs> we don't. He's six foot six. He's Mason Smith. But I call him Matthew 16. Because upon this rock, we shall build a national championship. He is the rock of our team. He is the rock we will build on. He is the cornerstone of LSU football, natural athleticism, fo football IQ. Out hey, in a past the ozone layer. He's in Mars, right? He's a Martian. He his uncanny ability to read plays and react swiftly. It makes him a nightmare for opposing offense. His versatility to play multiple positions. Up and down the line. It don't matter where you put him. Can't stop him. It's the embodiment of defensive powerness on gridiron. Hailing from, he, he is he is Louisiana. He has everything that makes Louisiana. When you think Louisiana football players, that's what, here's what you think. Here's what you see. He's from home of Louisiana. Homegrown. Homegrown. I love him. At first glance, it's evidence that he possesses the blend of physical attributes that are the envy of every defensive coordinator going up against a, a monster like this. He is tall. He's six foot six. He's 315 pounds. I, like I said, he's, it, it, that's basically cheating. <laughs> that's basically cheating. He ain't six foot. He's six foot six. I love him. And he's the reason why we're going to win another national championship. And that is my 2023 top defensive tackles that I'm watching this year. I love this group. I love this group. And if there's somebody I miss, put them down there. But this is the group that I am watching. This is the group that you should watch because I am the football prophet.